Campaign 2016 segment tonight, even though Donald Trump has closed the gap on Hillary Clinton and more Republicans are supporting Trump, some big names in the GOP still hold out. Presidents Bush, the younger and elder, are not supporting Trump. Governor John Kasich of Ohio has actually written in the name of John McCain in advance voting. Former presidential candidate Mitt Romney says he will not vote for either Trump or Clinton. This is now here in New York City, John Meacham, author of the book Destiny and Power, The American Odyssey of George Herbert Walker Bush, which is now out in paperback. I can't imagine at this point in Hillary Clinton's um, political evolution, right. Bush the Younger pulling that lever for somebody who would, as I pointed out in the Talking Points memo, abortion no matter when, yeah. for any reason, I, I just can't imagine it. Well, I don't. I think it's wrong to assume that because he's most likely not voting for Trump, that he's voting for Hillary. All right. So you might leave it open or re something I, like write that. Something in. I, I. My sense is, you know, the Bushes have been in national politics since 1952. Uh, the Prescott Bush became the senator from Connecticut that year. But Bush, George H. W. Bush, voted for Thomas E. Dewey in 1948. Um, they have been the architects of the universe that Trump wants to blow up. So. It's sort of interesting. Why would one expect the Bushes, broadly put? But I think it's even. I think it's more intense than that. I think they resented the fact that Bush attacked Jeb so vehemently and humiliated humiliated him. I think that's what the driving factor is here. I think it's. I think it's larger than larger. Uh, I think that um, the fact that Trump uh, brought up the attacks of September 11th. I think that um, he has. Uh, made a central issue of, of trying to take apart uh, an entire ethos. And an yeah, entire the Iraq policy, Iraq that, that kind of thing. And so, again, I, and I think the Bushes get a lot of credit for uh, a really kind of dignified silence about this. Their silence Ooh, I don't know lawyers. about that. I, I, I think it might be a divided thing. There are a lot of Republicans who are very angry about the Bushes, not because they don't like Hillary Clinton. It's, right. it's, it's not so much Trump, you right. got to get behind this great guy. It's we hate her. How can you ever not um, help get her off the stage. That's what I'm getting. But, but it's not, this isn't in a vacuum, right? So if you're George Herbert Walker Bush, if you're George W. Bush, you know what it's like to be president. And they simply, I think it's safe to say, I don't think they believe that Donald Trump should be president. But they don't believe Hillary Clinton should be president either, do they? But I don't know exactly. With that far think. left uh, resume she's bringing in? But the... We have a choice now, right, between the most, one of the most conventionally prepared people in history and one of the least conventionally prepared. Yes. And Trump embraces that, right? Right. He says, if, if, if experts were so great, we wouldn't be in this Yeah, he problem. wants to blow it up. He wants to blow it up. They built it. They built it. Uh, listen, I'm not criticizing the Bush family. I want everybody to know that. I think every American should vote their conscience. And if it were my brother who got slaughtered, you know, somewhat unfairly by Donald Trump, I'd probably feel the same way. What about the but friendship? I don't, think, I don't think it's just personal, though. I really do. I Ooh, think. I, 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 I really don't. I, I mean, I know Texas. <laughs> Come on, they're from Texas. No, I appreciate that. It gets that. personal, I, and its family is everything to the Bushes. Family is everything. But so is loyalty. The, but so is the country. George yes. H. W. Bush has always said. But they have a reason they can say that Trump doesn't first. know what he's doing, and then justify the family man. What about the friendship between yeah. Bill Clinton and the elder Bush? They they became pretty pretty good buds. They right? were. Yeah, it was Brokeback Mountain meets C-SPAN. Yeah, uh, for a while there. <laughs> Um, you know, it's funny, uh, Secretary Clinton, Hillary never really entered into that reconciliation. Uh, no. President Bush, 41, told me once in a classic WASP formulation, he said, we like Hillary, but we don't know her. Uh, and they don't really care to know her, though. I always got the feeling they didn't want to know her. Well, it's also, there's also, a, remember, 1992, we've all sort of, you know, it feels like ancient history now or the Peloponnesian War, but that was a rough thing with... Um, Bush and Clinton. And, and with Mrs. Bush, right? right? Hillary was the Wellesley graduate who didn't stay home and bake cookies. Right. And that was a big But that was shift. nothing compared to what this is. Oh, yeah. The Bush-Clinton right. race in 92 compared to Trump-Clinton 2016? True. Oh, my God. But remember, Ross Perot was there, and right, Mark and that's Tw why Clinton won. Well, and Mark Twain said history may not repeat itself, but it does rhyme. And right. so we've had populist billionaires shaking things up before. All right, John Meacham, everyone, check out his book on the Bush family, and plenty more ahead as the factor moves along. Donald Trump cutting way back on his national TV interviews. We'll tell you why that's happening. Then looks like California will vote to legalize pot on Tuesday. The unintended consequences may be serious for poor people. We hope you stay tuned for those reports.